right, so we're down here by the track. Um, track looks pretty juiced up. Looks like it's gonna be nice tonight. Hopefully it is. Last time they had a, a bit of a pretty a pretty big bump actually in one inches so hopefully it's smoother around there and hopefully just a smoother track surface and all but i'm really excited to get to today it should be a really fun night tonight we'll be racing two classes which will be the box dog and the 250 for the box dog really hoping to get a solid top three finish and possibly the win as well and then for the 250 definitely want to get in the top five and possibly in the top three but it should be a really fun night. Like I said, hopefully maybe a little more than just one lane, maybe two lanes, maybe a high side, maybe a low side, but we shall see. We'll be starting it all off with hot laps and then we'll have two heat race in the main event following up. Just, just a rookie mistake, but in the second heat, 
for the 250 we ended up starting third again and we were able to win it and then <clears throat> for the box stock we started um last which would be seventh in the first team and was able to get up and win it which was felt really good the car has a great setup and then on the other second heat for the box stock we started on the pole and won it which also felt good so we'll have pretty decent starting spots for the main i know we'll start on the pole for the box stock i'm not too sure about the 250 but we'll have to uh check the lineups and i'll let you guys know all right, so I just got the official lineup. Box stock, we're starting on the pole, so we should be able to drive some smooth laps and get to the win. They're um, doing some track prep right now, so hopefully that helps bring the middle in a little more instead of just right around the bottom, especially for the 250s. But for the 250s, we'll be starting fourth, um, so pretty good starting spot. Hopefully they can get a little bit of the middle high sider um, on instead of just around the bottom. But either way, the track's not too bad and we're ready to head out for the main.
here in Grants Pass, Oregon, and here's a little bit of a recap from last night's main event. So the box stock, we started on the pole and won it. We were just really smooth. We had a really good setup. Our car could run the bottom really well, just open up entry and come down low and just really smooth. If you could get the car scraped, it um, worked really well. So I think we had a really good setup on. We were able to get a clean sweep in the box dog class, which felt really good and got to take home another win and continue our little winning streak. And then for the 250s, we spun out like one time and because i was just trying to find a different line i was possibly you know trying to find like a middle line it's just something else besides right around the bottom because that's where everyone else is running everyone was running right around the bottom it was like the only line so i was just trying to run in the middle try to figure out something else but it didn't work and i um spun out so that charged me with one caution and then we spun out again on the berm and we just spun the car around. I was able to grab the clutch and was able to keep it running. And we ended up getting fifth. So a good top five finish. Pretty happy with that. It just sucks because that early mistake that we made in the heat race could like cost us the pole position and could have cost us possibly the main event win. But it is the way it is. We You have to have the not good races to get to the good races but overall a pretty decent night for the Mako Girls racing team um, and I feel like we were pretty good we had a hot rod for the box stock and we had a fast car for the 250s as well thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm really trying to work on my YouTube channel so some, make sure to subscribe for more content on the 321 but I'll see you guys in the next video bye